Hello everyone, my name is Carmelo P and welcome to Filter, a thief. Let's see, how can I put this actually? It's a, not a thief clone, but a game heavily inspired by thief. It was made by a solo dev mate named Johan Yarp, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, it looked fun. And since we just did a few stealth games um, that were, you know, a stealth game in their own way, I wanted to try a different one. So here we go, filter. Let's get started. Let's see here. The city of Malmberg, somewhere in Northern Europe. I'll spare you the sob story of my early childhood. Let's just say I came here a penniless orphan like so many others. With no home, no family, no future, I survived by begging, running messages, and picking pockets, and having some talent for the latter. I soon caught the eye of Fat Man, Tarkus Blackburn, leader of the Blackburn Gang. Back then, the Blackburn Gang was the power in Bensbrook District, okay. The other crime lords respected Tarkus, and everyone respected the laws and customs that govern the city's criminal underworld. Tarkus liked to consider himself a great philanthropist for many years. He did what the city officials did not. He scoped us doomed urchins. He scooped us doomed urchins out of the gutter and tossed them in on his trade. In the shadowy halls of Blackburn House, I learned. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just waking up, so like I can't read. I can't read normally, but now I'm like really struggling. Uh, uh, I learned how to move unseen and unheard. <laughs> Pick locks, cut purses, and bypass security systems. In short, to, to separate the entitled rich from their earthly possessions. I completed my training with flying colors, and Tarkus himself gave me the black mark at the end of, uh, at the base of my left thumb. A sign that I was part of the family. For years, I learned to keep my uh, landing bigger and bigger scores. Oh, for years, I earned my keep landing bigger and bigger scores and building a reputation for myself as Targus's top operator. But as I grew, so did my ambition. I, was, I wasn't happy letting Targus take the main share of my profits. I figured I'd go ahead and I could get ahead faster as an independent contractor. So I handed Targus my resignation. He didn't seem too happy about it. His Cheshire grin even wobbled for a second, and he talked with talked a great deal about duty, honor, and the ties of the family. When his sweet enticements turned to veiled threats, I knew I had made the right decision. He didn't set the dogs on me, so I walked out of Blackburn House thinking I was in the clear. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. No, 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 this is just... So, this is a game by a solo dev. This is just a game by a solo dev, and uh, I guess they, he couldn't really afford voice actors or anything like that. So this is a thief. This is a game in the in the spirit of thief. Okay, prologue training. Business has been slow lately, but last night I finally got a tip. If the information turns out good, I'll need all my thieving skills in the nights to come. Time to get some practice. Objectives. Time to sharpen your thieving skills. Go through training course. You'll, okay, pick up your equipment. Prep your, for your first mission. When you are done, use the lift to leave. As usual, I'll give myself a score based on the amount of loot and seekers I find. With extra points if I can finish the job without being detected, triggering alarms, tasking, or taking damage, or harming living creatures. Okay. So I guess this is it. No, uh, only my CPU is liquid cooled. My GPU, it's a, a 3090. And uh, I was lucky to get it during the COVID, like the COVID shortage. Home sweet home, time to get some practice, okay. Yeah, I was lucky to get it during the, uh, during COVID when they were like short. And like I don't, I don't liquid like I don't build my own custom things. In the next few rooms, you will learn how to sneak. Follow the instructions to complete each challenge. If you trigger an alarm during this tutorial, don't worry, you you will restart at the previous checkpoint. Warning: In real missions, there are no checkpoints, and alarms may have deadly consequences. Okay, so does that mean like if I fuck up during a mission, like that's it? Like I gotta restart the whole thing? Oh shit, that's a slide. 
As a thief, you must learn how to slip through the shadows unseen. At the end of the room is a security camera. Try to cross the room without being seen. Look at the shadows on the floor and move only through the dark areas to avoid the light. Okay. Okay, so shift to... Hold on. Um... Uh, so you automatically run. Shift should be. Sneak should just be like your regular movement speed. Well, no, actually, no. I'll figure it out. So the light gem at the bottom of the screen tells you how visible you are. Notice that it changes color depending on how much light you are standing in. Yep. Sometimes you need to duck behind cover. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, try to cross the room without letting the camera. Oh, up. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's the camera, the green thing. The thing with the green light there. How do I know where it's looking at? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I guess doing this is fine. So you can always press tab to view your current objectives. Okay. Yeah, these running sounds are fucking loud. Jump. Jump. Oh, fuck. Missed. God damn it. Okay, if I slide, I can't. God damn it. If I slide, I can't jump. That was loud as fuck. On a ladder, you use WS and climb space to jump off in the direction you're looking. Your control to drop down. Okay. Take a sip of coffee really quick. Like if I had more money coming in, I would definitely like do a custom water loop. But like I have no, no, that's I'm not doing that. Let's see. You. The area has rigged with sound sensors. Hold shift to sneak across without triggering alarms. Okay. Some materials like metal are really noisy. Avoid stepping on them if you... Ah, fuck. Hold down shift while crouching. Oh my god. Okay, so you can move even slower if you're crouched and hold the sneak button. Okay. Do, does like every level have a fucking sound detector thing I need to worry about because that would fucking suck this door's locked but you have the tools to open and hold down ooh, hold down little mouse button to open your inventory select so lock picks okay oh that sucks you can't look away while you're doing this hmm Is this key ring? Okay. Press zero to unequip your current item. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's actually useful. Uh, I can't pick the lock now. Where did I hide the key? Uh, good question. Unless it's in this barrel or something? No. Okay, we're looking for a key somewhere. I guess there's some locks you just can't pick, right? No, okay. Alright. Um, yeah, where did you hide the key, lady? Where did you hide the key? There's no way it's in like vents or shit like that. There's no way. Unless it's hidden on this light. No. Oh shit. So you can, you shit can hide like right here. Okay. Well. That's something. Okay, let's sneak through here. I don't think I need to sneak anywhere else though. 
almost ready for your first mission before returning to the lift. You should grab some equipment. Ooh, what are you? Oh, come on. You have to have a key to open that. Or no, I can just lockpick it. Sweet. My dear Spory, I hope this letter finds you in good health. You're certainly a hard woman to get a hold of these days. You spend less and less time at the big house. And what is this I hear of you setting up a private safe houses? Setting up private safe houses all over town. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect you had a personal sideline uh, outside the Blackburn gang. But no, forgive me. I know you, that you are far too clever to go back on our little contract. Speaking of which, I have some business to discuss with you in person. My old friend Eddie Symes has returned from his journeys abroad. I scarcely think you remember Eddie, as you were a mere whippersnapper when he left for Geneva. Eddie has made some new connections, which will be of great use to our little enterprise. There's fine work to be done for a shrewd uh, lock, pick lock, uh, such as you. So, come, don't be a stranger. Won't you brighten an old man's day with your charming company? Your devoted and uh, muf munificent patron, Tarkus Blackburn, okay? Looks like it's high end already. I thought you meant you just not confident to do it. Could get a local professional to attack cooler to expose GPU processor. I mean, it's it's fine. It's it barely ever overheats anyway as it is. Darkest thing said by pretending our last conversation didn't happen, he can bring me back into the fold. Well, well, he'd be, he'd better think twice. I work for me from now on. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here. Ooh, computer. Okay. So you have security cameras. Okay, so that's good to know. Ooh, okay. Too bad that doesn't like trigger the light thing in the bottom. I thought that would actually matter. Donuts. Cinnamon roll. Okay. Uh okay, lock picks. Oh, come on. No, nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay, whatever. Here. Uh, a mug. Okay. Oh, you can throw these. Okay. So I guess like distractions. Uh, moss spores. These fast growing moss spores infest the city sewer system. Throw them on any floor to instantly create a soft patch of most of moss, which muffles your footsteps and slows down enemies who step on it. Okay. Tranquilizer darts, dart gun. The dart gun shoots non-lethal knockout darts, letting you take out enemies from a distance. It has a limit of range, so aim slightly above your target. It's best to take cover after hitting an enemy, so they will have a few seconds to shoot back before losing consciousness. Consciousness. <coughs> Excuse me. So your flashbang. The flashbang emits a blinding light, which blinds and stuns all enemies who see it, giving it giving you a few seconds to escape. Warning, attacking a stunned enemy will cancel the effect. Okay. Noisemaker. Noisemaker is a small wind-up tool useful for creating a temporary distraction. Activate it and throw it somewhere. Any guards within earshot will go investigate the horrible racket. Okay, so that must be like our throw item to distract enemy to distract guard type dealio. The blackjack can knock an enemy unconscious with a single hit from behind. Frontal attacks, however, will barely annoy the enemy. Is 12th gen Intel CPUs worth it? I don't know. Like when I was, uh, like this is like years and years ago, when I was like really into computers, I could tell you, but I really don't know anymore. The electric torch is useful for snooping around in dark areas. Remember to turn it off when you don't need it. It makes you extremely visible. Okay. Um, yeah, I just don't know about, um, I guess this is a dark gun. So blackjack, dark gun, okay, torch, lock picks, keys, noisemaker, flashbang. Oh God, moss spores, yeah. I mean like, so I always run like AMD, right? Um, like for my CPU, like I've always ran AMD. Or for any oh this restocks okay so actually i'm going to use this okay that's actually kind of bright noisemaker <laughs> that is annoying uh lock picks torch dark gun 
Oh, okay, that's really got a far drop off. God damn. That's got a huge drop off. Yeah, it's got a huge drop off. Okay. Because I got a, uh, in this PC, I have a, for the CPU, I have a 5950X. And, yeah, I got an RT, uh, I got EVGA GeForce RTX 3090. You're practicing with your tools and weapons if you wish, and then head back to the lift to finish the tutorial. You can press F1 to view controls and read more advanced stealth tips. No, in the mission, yes. No, um, hey, so I know Intel, it, Intel's like, at least it was. At least it was Intel was like name brand shit like Apple like Apple's just more expensive because it's an Apple product and Then AMD you would use that it would be not as good as Intel shit, but it was more cost-effective Like uh, Olivia's PC I think everything in it. Yeah, the CPU and GPU are both AMD or in one's AM Let's see here. She's got an AMD processor and a uh fuck an r9 290x as her gpu yeah, that's just something i've always gone by okay Finsbrook district may not have fancy modern skyscrapers like they do uptown but what we do have is old money pedigree Aristos, pedigree, pedigreed Aristos from all over Europe come to live here. I have no idea what those are, unless it's like aristocrats, those who can stand with, uh, stand the wind and the cold. That is, the Wildmonts live in a palatial penthouse in Upper Finsbrook. Lady Wildmont recently purchased a very exclusive piece of jewelry, a diamond necklace of no small value. I sure like to get a, uh, get my paws on that done some scouting and noticed that a skylight on the western side of the building is usually left open on warm nights tonight is such a night and the wild monster are out of town sounds as good as an as an invitation jesus the apartment will be patrolled by guards and i can expect additional security around the necklace once i have the necklace getting out should be easy enough the lift goes straight to the ground floor lobby there's a moon in the sky and a cool breeze blowing. A lovely night for some housebreaking. Get inside the apartment. Still Lady Wildemont's diamond necklace. It's probably well guarded. Get at least a thousand additional loot. Once you are done, use the Wildemont's lift to escape. As usual, I'll give myself a score. Okay, yeah. Um, so, a thousand. So, is this like. Uh, so, I've never. It was like the only Thief games I've ever played was Thief 4. That's it. And so in that one, there was extra loot littered around the levels that you would you could pick up. And uh, yeah, that would be your currency. I wonder if there's like currency system in this. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I doubt it. I mean, we don't know yet. Well, like, I, like, I don't know. I don't expect there to be, like, a skill tree system in here, but, hey, it is what it is. Okay, let's uh, start this. So, we do have to be careful because if we die or get caught, like, um, if we die or get caught, apparently there are no checkpoints, so you restart the level, which is kind of cool, but kind of fucking, oh, wow, kind of fucking sucks at the same time. Do I like stealth games? I like them. I think it's a warm night someone left the skylight open i like them um i definitely like the challenge and i don't think there's enough stealth games right now the, the most you have for stealth nowadays is stealth is an option i heard the lordship and ladyship had another fight today well the ladyship did the lordship has had his nose in his books as usual it was all yes dear of course dear and we'll talk about that later dear so much for marital bliss, eh? Well, time to get back on patrol. If there's a break-in, we'll be the ones in trouble. Okay, yeah, I do have my blackjack. Okay, there's a wind-up with the blackjack. Okay. Okay, so they can open doors as well. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. But yeah, I like stealth games. Like, they're challenging and they're frustrating. Um. But. Oh, shit. They're challenging and they're frustrating, but also very rewarding. I'm kind of listening to this, if I can tell how far some of these guys are. Can I open drawers? No. There's somebody to my left. I hear them. I don't want to pull out my flashlight either. God, this game's dark, too. He didn't see me, did he? Let's see, if I'm right here in this dark... I need to go ahead and test this since we're at the beginning of the level. If I'm in this complete... Oh, shit. If I'm in complete darkness like this, can he see me? Kind of what I want to know. But yeah, there's just not enough stealth games. Like, you have the Metal... Like, every, like most games, stealth is optional. Assassin's Creed, Metal Gear Solid. Well, is it Metal Gear Solid 5, at least. Um, some stealth missions. Um, like, in some games where this, they just decide to be sneaky all of a sudden. Um... Okay, so he can't see me like this. So leaning is safe. Okay, I mean, that's some sprite work. Okay. Okay. Knocked him out. Oh, shit. There's a guy right there. But can I pick up the body? Okay, that's really good to know, actually. Okay, so you can pick up bodies. That's really good to know. Okay. But, like, I feel like stealth is just an underutilized or underdeveloped genre. Sim. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Let me get out of this hallway. Uh, simply because I think it's it's scary to some developers to work on. Let's be fair, like, it's not an easy thing to do balance-wise. Like, it's just simply not easy to do. Because, I mean, and there's also, like, so many stealth aficionados out there who just, like... Oh, fuck that. There's two of them in there. Uh, let's not go in there, I guess. Probably need to go around a different way. I feel like I'm going a very direct route. I think there's going to be a guy coming out that hallway. I think. But, I don't know. It's just there's not enough stealth titles in general. Come on, dude. Where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere. For those of you watching live, it is greatly appreciated that you